Meanwhile, a blame game is ensuing between the government and rebel forces of exactly who is responsible for the killings in Bentu. While rebel forces claim that fleeing government troops killed civilians, South Sudan's government maintains the rebels are responsible. South Sudan's foreign minister, Barnaba Maria Benjamin, said hundreds of men, women and children were slaughtered when rebels swept through the oil-producing town of Bentu. The rebels have denied the allegations and accused part of the United Nations mission in South Sudan of peddling propaganda to win favor with South Sudan President Salva Kiir. They blamed the government forces for the systematic killings. The UN said rotting bodies were scattered around the city. The rebels seized the key town more than a week ago and immediately warned all farms operating in government-held areas to pack up and leave within a week. Nearly 200 were killed at the, at the mosque and also in the hospital where doctors, South Sudanese doctors, including where a lot of people had gone there for security were also massacred and also some South Sudanese citizens were also massacred at the churches. Earlier on, we spoke to rebel spokesperson Brigadier General Lul Rui Kong Kuang on the Bentiu massacre allegations and ongoing fighting in the country. Let's listen in. Okay, uh, Mr. Lu, let me just start off with the first question. Uh, what has been your reaction to allegations about the killings of civilians in Bentu? We, we are denying any responsibility. Mm -hmm. We are denying any role. Yeah, we are not responsible for the killing of civilians in Bentu, wherever they were. And I must make this clarification, that the killing of the people in the mosque and other places, I must make it very clear that those who were killed in the mosque are not civilians. They are young fighters. They are fighters from Islam mob and justice and equality movement rebels. So after after we recaptured Bentu, what they did was simply for them to throw away their gun, then they entered the mosque. So it is very important for the media to know that the, 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 those who were killed there were not civilians. They were ex young fighters. Okay. Now there have also been claims of fighting in other areas in South Sudan. Now could you tell us where else you are engaging? Yes, there are forces were engaged by government forces. They are trying to advance on our positions in Greater Lonewear area. And I'm talking about Urur County in particular. Uh, they also advanced on our positions in Greater Pangak area. Uh, to be specific, they were trying to advance on Ayud. And our forces fought back in self-defense. Uh, regarding uh, Urur Front, our forces were able to successfully uh, repulse the government forces. And in the process, they overran uh, um, Duke County Administration Headquarters, Administrative Headquarters. Okay, now, and uh, the African Union have set up uh, a commission of inquiry to investigate uh, the ethnic uh, killings. What is your response to this? We are going to cooperate with, uh, with the committee. We are going to cooperate. Once they, they come to our side, we are going to give them the necessary cooperation they need to carry out their work. We have no objection to that. Well, thank you very much for that, sir. Thank you. Brigadier General Luol Roy Kong, the rebel spokesperson on the line.